All right, in this video, we're going to work on two-step conversions. So here we're converting 23 feet per second into miles per hour. By the way, whenever I see miles per hour, I immediately rewrite it as mi slash h. So here we're going from feet over seconds to mi over h. So essentially, we need to do feet into miles, that's our distance conversion, and then seconds into hours, and that's our time conversion. All right, to start this one, we're going to start by putting in the given. So we're going to put 23, and we're going to break it up. So feet goes on the top, and seconds goes on the bottom. All right, let's go over and look at our distance conversion. So feet to miles is going to be right here. So one mile is 5,280 feet. Um, since we had feet on the top, we need to have feet on the bottom and we'll have miles on the top. All right, so that means our distance conversion, one mile is 5,280 feet. Then our time conversion, so now here, remember that time is on the bottom right here. So we had seconds on the bottom, and that means I need to put seconds on the top so that they cancel out. Uh, the conversion factor, that we're going to use. Uh, we're trying to go from seconds to hours. I do it straight in one step. So one hour equals 3,600 seconds. That 3,600 is just 60 times 60. Um, so I'm do hours right here. That's 3,600 seconds is one hour. All right, and then we're going to multiply across the top and divide across the bottom. So I'm going to do 23 times 3600 divided by 5280 and that gives me 15.7 and the units will be miles per hour all right so let's go ahead and take a look at another question so this time we'll do one that doesn't have the uh, supports here. So we'll do 36.8 newtons to pound feet. All right, so these are probably units of torque. So 36.8. And in this case, newtons and meters both go on the top. We have nothing on the bottom. Remember that per, that slash, would make one of them go on the bottom. I need to do two different conversions. So one is going to be for forces, one of them is going to be for distance. So essentially my first conversion, I need to convert newtons into pounds. We already have newtons on the top, so we're gonna need newtons on the bottom, and we're gonna need pounds on the top. So one pound equals 4.45 newtons. So one pound, 4.45 newtons. So those newtons cancel out, and then we need to go from meters to feet. Meters was on the top, so meters needs to be on the bottom. And feet will then be on the top. All right, looking at my conversion, one meter equals 3.28 feet. All right, and let me go ahead and plug that in. So I'm gonna do 36.8 times 3.28 divided by 4.45. And that gives me 27.12. Uh, keeping three significant figures, you can keep more if you'd like, but three at least. So 27.1 uh, and pound feet was my answer because those ones did not cancel out right there. Let me go ahead and plug that in. And we got it. 